Okay, in this video, I'd like to show you how to shift the indices on a power series. So, on front of you, I've written a power series, and in this case, we'll say that it is the second differential of a function we call y. And when we're dealing with power series, that in, in, in particular, when we're solving differential equations, you always need each of the, the, the we'll say the terms start at the same point, we'll say n is equal to zero, and the power on their x must be the same, so we'll say x to the, x to the n. All right. So say if we have other terms in, a, in, a, in an equation, we might have an equation like y double prime plus y prime plus y is equal to zero. And say we want everything to start at n is equal to zero and have its power x to the n. And that means we have to, we'll say, change the form of our, one of, of our terms, maybe y double prime and y. So we have to shift the indices. Okay, and how do we do this is as follows. Well, if I want this to go to n is equal to zero and uh, x to the n. Well, clearly, in order to go from x to the n minus 2 to the x to the n, I must, we'll say, say that n is equal to n plus 2. n becomes n plus 2. And that will shift everything. So in this term, I will increase, I will, I will substitute n plus 2 everywhere. So I get that y double prime of x is equal to the sum to infinity. I'll leave this for a moment. A n plus 2 n plus 2, n plus 1, x to the n. Alright, so now I have my x to the n. And where you increase, where you increase the, uh, the power here, you must decrease the order. The, you, where you increase the power, excuse me, you must decrease where it begins. So this begins at n is equal to 0 now. Okay? And similarly, if we wanted to go if we wanted to go shift shift this into say upwards one, say if we wanted to go to x to the n plus one, we just insert everywhere n plus one. So y of x or y double prime, excuse me, of x is the sum to infinity of a. Uh, one sec now. This is we're going to n plus one. Now, what did I do? N plus one. Actually, say if we want to go to n minus one, just for the just for the crack. N minus one. So this is why I want to insert n becomes n minus one everywhere. So this becomes a n plus one. This becomes n plus one. This becomes n. This becomes x to the n minus one. Now, where we decrease the power, we increase where it starts, like so. All right. Now, the question is, are these the same? The only way to find out are these the same is by, um, by we'll say, filling out, the, by filling out the power series. So let's look at this power series here. Okay, so I'm going to draw these like so. So we're starting at n is equal to 2. So we have a2 times 2 times 1 times x to the naught. Okay, so we have 2, a2. Okay, that's the first term in the power series. And let's go for the second term. So n is equal to 3. So it becomes a3 times 3 times 2 times x to the 1. So it becomes 6, a3, x. That is the, uh, that's y double prime for this equation here. And I'll just clean that up for you now by getting rid of this. All right, that's the first term there. Now, if we look at the middle one, let's see what we get. So we're going to get n is equal to zero, so it becomes a zero, uh, a zero. No, it doesn't. It becomes a two. Excuse me. It doesn't become a zero. It becomes a two times two times uh, times one times x to the naught. So that becomes just two a two. All right, and let's plug in n is equal to 1 into this equation. We're going to get a3 times 3 times uh, times 2 times x to the 1. So this is going to become 6a3x. All right, and finally, let's see if, let's see if, we, uh, if this is the same. All right, so this is y double prime. Oh, you couldn't see that. 
Okay, so what I did there was as follows. You can do it yourself, right? I plugged in n is equal to 0 into this, and I got 2a2. Then I changed it to n is equal to 1, and plugged it back in, and I got 6a3. All right? And finally, what I'm going to do is do the same thing for this equation here. So we're going to get y double prime is equal to. So n is equal to 1. So if you plug n is equal to 1, you're going to get a2 times 2 times 1 times x to the naught. That becomes 2a2. And then... If we do something similar, where we plug in n is equal to 2, we're going to get a3 times 3 times uh, 2 times x to the 1. So that becomes 6a3x. Alright, so that's how you shift the indices on a power series. Alright, and I sh oh, like I said, I shifted it both downwards and upwards and I got the same thing when I, when I actually filled out the power series so that shows that it worked. So thanks for watching, please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.